All right, welcome to our fourth video on the uh, digital publishing suite or the DPS tools inside of Adobe InDesign. For this one, we're going to focus on the video overlays. So to begin, we're going to create a brand new digital publishing document. And for intent, we'll choose digital publishing. I'm going to remove the primary text frame. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and leave this as a horizontal orientation. Okay, to add video to any sort of InDesign document, it's just as easy as adding images, or if you go back to our second video, uh, adding audio to your particular layout. So I'm going to go up to File and choose Place. And on the desktop here, I've got a couple different videos, and I'm going to actually use this one right here of a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. Now, just like when you're adding uh, an image or an audio file, the cursor will actually change and will give you a little bit of an icon kind of showing you exactly what sort of content you're going to be placing. In this case, you have a little film strip icon to show you that it's actually a video. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this video on here. And just like audio files, this is a free form frame. In other words, InDesign is not going to the actual video file and finding out what the proportions or the size of the actual video file is. It does that with images, but it doesn't do this with video. I wish it did, but in this case, it does not. So we may need to tweak the size of this video frame a little bit later on. So there, I've, I've gone ahead and placed it. Now, a couple things happened here is after I've placed this particular video that you may have seen. First off, uh, notice the frame obviously is a little bit too tall for this uh, size video. But the first thing that actually happened when I placed this video, you would have seen some diagonal lines and then immediately got filled in with this particular image. Now those horizontal lines were just basically a, a video placeholder. That's where the video is actually going to load. This image here, it's, it's not some sort of uh, image that I've created or, or some sort of, of uh, step that I missed showing you. Actually what's happening here is whenever you add video to InDesign, InDesign will take the very first frame of the video and will display it essentially as a thumbnail, as a preview image. And this is what's known as a poster frame. Now, the poster frame is helpful because it at least shows some sort of a, a preview of a content of what the video is actually going to be. But using the first frame often is not exactly the most helpful thing. Now, in this case, this video, the first frame is actually uh, a graphic, something that you can actually see. Most videos, the very first frame is probably going to be a black frame. So you're going to have a giant black box sitting here inside of your uh, the video frame. So I'm going to show you here in just a minute exactly how to uh, change that. Uh, but before we do, let's go ahead and let's adjust this particular frame. And let's go ahead and fit the frame to the content. There we go. That works well. And now I can go ahead and place this video anywhere I want. Now. To change the poster frame, just simply select the video and go to the media window. Now, if your media window is not up, please make sure you're in the digital publishing works, uh, workspace or just go to window, go to interactive, and you can choose media from there. Now, in the media window, you have a player which will allow you to actually play the video. You can scrub through the video and see different parts of the video. And down here there are some different options. Now when you're working in the digital publishing suite, the only option in this particular window that has any effect whatsoever on the video is the poster option. All these, all the rest of these are dealing with like interactive PDFs or EPUB. So in our case what we want to do is we want to change the poster frame. Now right now it's currently set to from current frame, but if you notice if I move this to a different frame, I don't get a picture of Guinevere over here in my article. And the reason for that is, is that I have to actually tell InDesign to refresh this poster from the current frame that I've selected here in the player. So I do that by moving or scrubbing through the timeline, finding the frame that I want, and then over here on the right hand side you have to click this double arrow. Then I now see Guinevere. Now in my case I've got a beautiful little title card here at the end after Bing Crosby gets done 
fooling around in a coat of arm. There, there it is. There's the title card. And I can go ahead and click that, and that can then be my poster frame. Now, of course, you're not stuck with only using frames of your video to use as your poster. In fact, if you click on this drop down, you'll notice you can actually choose your own image. So if you want to go ahead and create your own image and say Illustrator or Photoshop and go ahead and export that out as say a JPEG or a ping file, you can certainly use that image here instead of a frame of video, which can be very helpful because a lot of times when you're working with uh, these particular types of graphics, or excuse me, this media type, uh, you're not going to be able to create kind of like that faux button effect that I created in the, the second uh, of our screencasts with the audio file because the video, because of the fact that you have a poster, it will actually be on top of uh, that graphic and you will never see it. So you may want to choose a poster and in that poster maybe include some sort of text about, you know, click here for, you know, play the video or, or create even a, a fake play button on the actual poster itself. The other options that you have are a standard uh, poster which just looks like this. Basically all you get is a little icon that's kind of boring. Uh, and then of course the other option is no poster at all, which essentially makes this frame completely transparent. Now I'm going to use that particular option here in just a minute to show you uh, how you can kind of do this in a, uh, a different way. Instead of just including a poster, a video with a poster, we're going to actually include a video that's transparent and we're going to have an element on the page where you can actually click through. So in this case, we're, going to, we're almost going to be using a video just like what we did in the second video with the audio file. So to do that, I'm going to delete Connecticut in uh, King Arthur's Court. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place uh, a graphic here that I have. And this graphic is from the movie Gravity. There we go. Now let me change the fitting options of that. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger. There we go. And this, I change the display performance here. Uh, this is actually an image of uh, Sandra Bullock floating out into space. And so what we're going to do now is that we're going to actually overlay a video, uh, actually the trailer of Gravity, uh, on top of Sandra Bullock. So Sandra Bullock will become our element that if we, you know, tap Sandra Bullock, as she's flying off uh, into the uh, depths of space, uh, it will play the trailer to gravity. So to do this, I'm just going to place the video just like we have previously. File, place, and I've got the trailer of it right here. And I'm going to go ahead and create a frame right over Sandra Bullock. And now she's disappeared. And as I mentioned before, what has happened in this case, a lot of videos, the very first frame of the video, which of course InDesign uses as the poster, is a black frame. So that doesn't help us out. So I need to go ahead and come back into my media window. And from the poster, I need to choose none. Now I have a transparent video. Now, of course, you see these diagonal lines, but that's just to let you know that there's a video there. It just happens to be transparent. The next thing is I want to open up my overlay window and by default when you have a video selected the overlay will switch to the video overlay. Now everybody hates autoplay videos can we agree? So I'm gonna uncheck that make sure that's not checked but I want this to play actually a full screen so I'm gonna go ahead and check that box there that way when I actually tap this video I don't have to worry about a really 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 small video playing within this frame that I've created but instead it will actually play full screen on my device. So to show you how that's done, in my folio overlays, I'm going to go ahead and click Preview and preview this on the desktop. And there you go. That's how you add video to an InDesign DPS document.
Join us in our fifth video and we'll talk about how to create slideshows that you can swipe through on your iPad.